roses. They're all these so pretty. Look at those colors. Six oh. different varieties all in one collection. Love it. Love it. Oh, love wow. It, love look it. at next to your blouse. It matches. See, I planned everything very well today. You're a clever girl. I did girl. my pink lightning jeans just for you. Thank to you. Match that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not start giving him wine, or he might start taking off well, more than that first talk. You've already had all uh, the Riesling. <laughs> she drank every bit of it. Uh, all right, we have our next item here, which is fun to talk about because this is the Pixie Grape patio plant yes and it's m53222 this was brand new this season it's thirty five dollars and seventy six cents you're actually going to be able to have your own little mini vineyard here right you're going to be growing your own grape clusters indeed you will yes. you get those grape stomping shoes i'm sure y'all sell them on qvc <laughs> my favorite episode of i love lucy by mine the way. too so you actually are also going to choose your grape yes do you want the cabernet franc which is the purple grape purple grape, or do you want the Riesling Pixie, which, which is, is the, the green this grape. This golden green one over here. So you've got the choice there, and these are beautiful. It's ideal for a gift. Say if you are sending a bottle of wine mm -hmm. to your neighbors, they've just moved in, you send the Riesling, you also send the grape. Fun. Also, if you're having a wine tasting party, this is your centerpiece. I love that but idea. I just love it. All summer Charming. long, you've got that going on, because what I'm shipping out to you Look. So it already has its own little trellis. And it's and you'll have grapes this year. This is the Pixie Grape. It's, it's got its little tag on there, and it's got its little trellis here. Okay. You'll also receive a growing guide from Cottage Farms. Specific to this variety of grapes. Yes, right? indeed. Yeah. So all you have to do is decide which you want. And, of course, if you can't make up your mind, which is what I am, yeah. <laughs> I get both. So. But what we need you to know is, while these might be the grapes that are used for wine, they're also delicious grapes just to pick and eat. They're lovely miniature grapes, mm -hmm. and it's just a great look. I mean, it's like having a, if you've got a little fairy garden mm. with the little grape stompers in it, of yeah. course, <laughs> you've got all of this going on. But more importantly, I think if you're, if you're having a party and you're having you know, people over, this is the ideal centerpiece. I love flowers, of course, on the table, but if you're having a wine tasting, you've got all of your bottles of, of wine around this, it's just a fantastic look. It ups the elegance of your gathering. Mm, and so, and also, I think like when you put out that lovely little, you know, cheese and meat plate. Yes. Um, you put out some grapes with it, and you have these Riesling grapes or these Cabernet grapes to sort of have as a taste to go along with it. Indeed, and yeah. and these are perfectly hardy. You don't have to bring these in. Leave these outside. They're perfectly hardy. You can plant them in the ground or leave them in a container. And if they're in a container, you bring them in for the party. Okay. Then you put them back, back outside. Out. So am I leaving these out year round? Yeah. Yes. Even in cold climates? Yes, my dear. Where and won't these work? What I do is that I bring mine next to the house. Yes. And then I mound the mulch up to the top of the pot. Mm -hmm. That's all I do. Okay. Because you think these are growing in the coldest areas of the country. The grapes do. Yeah, right. They grow in the hot areas too. They do need a frost. They do need a frost. So that's, okay. the, that's the only thing I'll say there is they need a frost to be able to set the fruit. But they will fruit this year. Handsome look. Fabulous gift. They only get 24 inches tall. So is this about mature height? That is the here? mature height. This is, so this is as big as it's going to get. Yes. I love that. Here's This is a dumb question, but Wait, I'm going to ask it. No. So usually when we talk about fruits, it right. flowers first and then the fruit forms. Do grapes flower the, first? They do, and there's the, the flowers are somewhat insignificant. So okay. you don't notice that. You'll Got just it. notice your big... All of a sudden you start to see the clusters. The clusters of grapes starting to develop. And the first time I saw these, I was just dazzled because yeah. we saw some at the trade shows. And then we did a little bit of uh, research on them. Yeah. And we tried them down in Mobile, Alabama. And if, if anything, we'll live down in Mobile, Alabama. Right. It will live anywhere. Yeah. And but they're they're hardy in all parts of the country. A handsome look. You can even pull the leaves off. The grape leaves are handsome, and I use them as garnishes. Oh, nice. You know, to to make my cheese plates look even uh -huh. nicer. Yeah, I love that idea. I love this because it's different. You know, I don't know that if I went to my local garden center and they had grape plants, I would be brave enough to try it. They would get huge. But I, I love with Cottage Farms is they find the best for me. They find the best best, the easiest, the most manageable. They understand I'm not a vineyard owner. I don't have 47,000 acres of property. <laughs> I have a little backyard. <laughs> so what can 
I grow there? And here's something different and unique for you to try. If you do love wine, I think this is something really cool and special. I love the idea of bringing it in if you're doing a wine tasting or for your book club and you have all your wines and your cheeses and everything all set up. It's just something fun and different and your kids will get a kick out of seeing these great clusters form as well. They really will and I have to tell you, I've seen Valerie Parhill was setting all of her stuff up over here. Yeah. This beautiful stuff. I could see this in the middle of one of her gorgeous yes, tables. Yes, very nice. So your choice here is of the variety of grape uh, and again, you get the Cabernet Franc, which is your kind of, as you can see, like your more reddish purplish grape, yes. right? And then we have, for those of you who want the Riesling grape, that's called the Riesling Pixie. And then we would use our Bud and Flower Booster for fruits and vegetables yes. to fertilize this, right? In, indeed, and I fertilize mine about once every two to three weeks. Okay. They're good to go. When wintertime comes, you stop the fertilization, you go inside, the grape stays outside, and then next year you have, have it fun to do all over again. I know it comes with a little bit of a trellis. Will I need to get a larger one eventually? Should I put a larger one in when I plant this into well, a large pot at home? I would. In fact, we've got some fancy little fancy ones here. Yeah. You can go to your garden center and get a little fancy one mm -hmm. to go on there. Or even if it's just a little pole, because it'll completely cover that and tie it to the pole. Okay. Very easy because it wants to grow straight up. And if you want to keep it in the pot that it's already in, just sit it inside of another pot or a basket. Oh, good idea. You don't have to take any big effort. Well, stay on the line if you're dialing in for that. That's our Pixie Grape Patio Plant, brand new this season for $35.76. All right, coming up in less than 10 minutes, Pink Lightning is going to strike, and it's already been popular. I just don't know if it'll strike twice. Um, this is our Sun Patient Collection, the hottest, hottest pink, but look at that foliage, that beautiful green, yellow foliage, M49027. We even have it on auto delivery because so many of you want to make sure you don't ever run out. So we've got auto delivery for next year, too, at the same price with Easy Pay, M49027. And then we're also going to talk about this gorgeous, Perpetual Salsa Daisy, um, M48963, $37.50 is your price there. And I'm even going to show you a beautiful picture from Philip's book where he featured those salsa daisies. Yes, indeed. I use them all the time.